Joining me now, Tom Homan, former acting director of Immigration and Customs Enforcement and a Fox News contributor. Good to have you here, Tom. Um, you know, I'm, I'm reminded of, of what the current president said during the debate process because he promised the country essentially exactly what we're watching play out today. Listen to this. I would, in fact, make sure that there is, we immediately surge to the border. All those people are seeking asylum. They deserve to be heard. That's who we are. We're a nation that says if you want to flee and you're fleeing oppression, you should come. You know, but then later, uh, he said, don't come. So what, what do you make of the obviously very mixed message here? Well, look, he's, he's been all over the map from day one, right? This, this crisis because of uh, climate change, and it was because of Trump's destroyed the uh, legal system, then it's because it was seasonal. You know, he, he, he's been over the map, but bottom line is the Trump administration allowed people to claim asylum too, but they had to do it from Mexico. The remain in Mexico is a game changer. This, with this, all this panic over Title 42, they can end it tonight. They can say, you know what, we're gonna re-implement the Remain in Mexico program. People can still claim asylum, but they're gonna wait in Mexico, no more catch and release. That was a game changer with the Trump administration. The federal courts have already opined that it was a legal process. We can do that, it's legal. He can also reinstitute the third safe country agreement. There's a lot of things this administration can do to secure the border, but they won't. But you said a very important thing. You said it a couple of times since, since the show started that this is about the optics. It's about they don't want pictures of overcrowded facilities. That is all they're concerned with the optics of the crisis, not concerned with the crisis. So, what are they going to do? There's already 70% of agents off the line because of the current flow. So when Title 42 gets dropped and more people come across, they're going to pull even more agents off the line to process and release quickly. you got to understand, their priority is to process and release quicker so they don't have the optics of a crisis rather than doing their national security duty. So more agents off the line means more fentanyl gets across, more migrants die, more women and children traffic into the United States, more no suspected terrorists can cross the border. The national security job of the secretary is put on the put on the back shelf because they don't want bad optics. They're mm -hmm. going to have everybody processing and releasing. Yeah, I, I think that's very true. You, you know, you also see something interesting that's happening right now because of this panic and the chaos. They are not saying anything about the Texas Rangers who are standing behind razor wire and telling people they can't cross. And I remember, and I know you do, when they were outraged at the White House because of uh, rangers on horseback who were preventing people from crossing the river. But today, they seem to be okay with it. They're also okay with pulling people off the streets, which is also happening, I'm told, uh, and, and deporting them through various means of, of you know, selection. So what does that tell you? Well, first of all, thank God for the, the state of Texas. Governor Abbott should be the Secretary of Homeland Security. He's done more to secure this border than anybody this administration. But this administration has failed. They failed from day one. So they're looking at any straw they can grab a hold of to say, ah, we're doing enforcement actions. As far as arresting people on the streets, that's not happening. Because what the DHS did, they announced it a day before they did it. So there's actually flyers all over El Paso saying it's going to happen. So they're having trouble even finding people. That was that wasn't an accident. They announced this operation, which only not only put officers at risk because they gave up operational security. They gave a they gave a, a 24 hour notice to people to be off the streets. This administration is just it's just incompetence at the highest level. I am shocked at what's happening right now. Tom, thank you very much. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.